so in informatica using joiner transformation we do it we can do it okay so in sql joins is the concept join queries in informatica joiner transformation works similar to joins in sql understand in informatica joiner transformation works similar to joins in sql so you know there is inner join outer join left outer join right outer join full outer join these things you know right so whenever you want to join the data you need to apply the join condition right are you clear yes yeah so today for the joining purpose what we do is we will take employee data from the flat file debt data from the relational table okay so two sources we required one is employee file employee data from flat file employee data from flat file okay debt data from relational table these two are sources means i want to extract data from two different sources then use the joiner transformation join the data okay after that i want to apply the router transformation split the records split the records and save the data in three different targets this is what i want to do okay so first of all you have to create two source definitions right deepak and others yes sunand nitish rohit yes 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 yeah. yeah two source definitions are required so here what i do is uh deepu first of all uh, show me the employee file available in your c drive okay employee file available in c drive yeah that is a employee file okay yeah so this is one of my source okay yeah it's okay fine this is my source close this close this note and mm -hmm. then minimize minimize this and uh, connect to sql plus scott user mm -hmm. to sql plus scott user here you write the query select star from debt okay this is an another table second source okay, okay. yeah this is another table second source so please prepare source definitions for these two i think for employee we already might have a source definition that is employee dup of course that structure is suitable but still important okay import from exact employee file yep sure plus yeah good good everything is fine double quotes right okay. yeah just give the column names first one is emp and o second one is e name third one is uh, job e name better give capital letters okay sure emp and o data type numeric length to four it is very good second one is e name data type is text length 10 Mm -hmm. Third one is job. Data type is text. Length ten. Uh, 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Next one MGR numeric four. Next one higher date date time. Next one is salary numeric seven precision scale two. Yeah. Next one is commission. Numeric seven is the precision scale is two. Mm -hmm. Next one is B E P T and O. Two is the length. Okay. Okay. Finish. Yep. Yeah. Finish. This is your source definition. Employee source definition. Employee flat file. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you import from Scott DEPT. Okay, Scott DSN. Yeah, you import data from DEPT table, Scott. From the Scott user, okay? Mm -hmm. So whenever you want to apply joins. Mm -hmm. You required uh, two tables, right? Yes. Yeah, these are the two tables. Okay, done. Yeah. So two source definitions you have prepared. Yes. Good. Now I want a target definition. Totally, I want a three target definitions. Okay. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Just like uh, we done uh, filter transformation, three targets we prepared, right? Yeah. One is flat file, two is relational database tables. Of course, one is table, two is flat files, otherwise all our tables, all our flat files, everything is okay. Mm -hmm. But at present, we are taking one is flat file, three are tables, mm -hmm. okay? But structure is similar. Of the three, three structures are similar. But here, uh, how can we make the structure? Let us create manually. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go to target. Of course, you can copy and edit. No problem. So here you give uh, EMP. No, no, no. EMP okay. 30 data. Okay. Yeah. Previously we have given employee 30, employee 20, something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now I am giving EMP 30 data. Make it a database. Okay. Oracle. Database type Oracle. Okay. Second one? Ah, no, no, no. no. Here, the second one we make copy paste. Okay. So should I cancel this? Yeah. Okay. Now double click on that and give the columns. First give all the columns employee. Totally 8, 9, 10, 11 columns are required. 9, 10, 11. Okay. Yeah. First employee number, EMP and go. Mm -hmm. Second one, email. Third one, job. And your higher date salary. Next. Department number, then department name. Mm -hmm. Then location. Just a 10. Okay, last one you delete. Okay. Now take care of the data types. Employee number is numeric 4, number 4. Uh, number 4. This is fine. This is fine, where care. Yeah, where care of uh, 15 you give better. Okay. Employee number, f I'll make 4. Yeah. 
number of ps number of ps okay now you can make it four job back the job is also worker 15 okay in chair number number of ps4 time stamp or date time should i give okay this is fine right but it uh, it is just a date not time stamp just a date okay yeah salary number of ps 7 then commission number ps72 then department number number ps2 the department name worker of 15 sorry worker the department name worker of 15 this should be location is also worker of 15 department number just to number just to scale zero i think for the commission you have given 0702 don't give like that just give 27 something like that above also you have given 04 uh huh so just give okay. four don't give 04 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is your target. This is Oracle target. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make employee number is primary key. Yeah. So this is Oracle target. So yeah. copy this structure copy this star target structure selected left side under targets select this then go to edit menu copy paste this is paste and no go to edit menu again paste go to edit menu copy go to edit menu paste unable to copy the clipboard object it's select it highlight it first of all now now go to edit copy go to edit paste rename yes rename it as uh, emp20 data yes sure this is also oracle yeah So now EMP thirty data is one, EMP twenty data is one. You have two, right? Yeah. So now again copy this, paste it again, rename it as EMP others. Okay. Yep. EMP others, right? Yeah. So this is going to be flat file. Mm -hmm. This is going to be flat file. Yeah. Change it to flat file, comma delimited flat file. third one others you change it to flat file select the database type flat file mm -hmm. yeah. file 
delimited click on advanced you want to give different delimiter give hash symbol is the delimiter okay so optional quotes nothing i don't want to enclose with single quotes or double quotes okay mm -hmm. yeah click on okay so these are the three targets ready okay two sources ready and three targets ready yeah now you go and create a mapping go to mapping designer create a new mapping give the mapping name map underscore join join score mm -hmm. router r o u t e r router mm -hmm. yeah click on okay sure so now you take the two sources first drag and drop the employee file into mapping designer work area source employee file into mapping designer work area then drag and drop scott into mapping designer scott dept into mapping designer work area locate them one below another first employee locate them side by side make sure all columns are visible okay okay mm -hmm. now i want to join this both so using joiner transformation okay mm -hmm. now go to transformation menu and create joiner transformation give the emp underscore dept underscore join is the name mm -hmm. no nothing to do just uh, make it big vertically make it big later will come to here some more big yeah now you see select all columns from employee drag and drop into joiner see now all the columns of employee table are located in the joiner right yes but observe source type it is showing detail right beside the column name you have source type detail so these all are the detail ports detail columns okay so whenever you are going for join you will have two tables one is master table one is detail table right yeah yeah so now drag and drop the dept also into that so department number department name location from dept is located got it okay these are the master ports okay now please understand into the joiner transformation first what columns you will load those are known as master okay sorry mm -hmm. those are known as detail. detail so next what columns you load you drag and drop those comes under deep master okay sir if there are more than two or three sources then drag and drop it will show you right no uh okay I am what my question is like if there are four or five sources then the first four will be detail or or the last four will be master how does it work nothing like that here we have to we are dragging and dropping by default it takes like that okay based on the number of sources that we have added into the mapping area it will understand so by right? default it takes now double click on this joiner 
So one minute, sir. So if if now I first if I do if I, if I put DP uh, department data and then I put employee data, then that means the first uh, de department will be detailed and employee will be master data, is it? Yes. A joiner transformation consider and takes like that only. Yes. True. Okay. 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 So now go to ports tab. In the ports tab, you see you have port name, that is column name, okay? Mm -hmm. Then data type, data length, everything is there. And you have port types, I for input port, O for output port, that you know, right? You people know about I for input port, O for output port. But third one, M, M for master port, okay? Mm -hmm. Just like... Uh, according to the Sushma's question. So by mistake or wantedly or whatever it is, first I, I drag and drop DEPT into the joiner. Okay. Mm -hmm. After that I drag and drop EMP. So what happened here, it has taken DEPT is the detail, EMP is the master. Okay but which is yeah. not correct. DEPT is always master, EMP is always uh, child, right? So you can change the master port. Suppose now you click on uh, any of the EMP column under master. So those are changed or not? Yeah. Click on apply and okay. Yes, yes, yes. Click on okay. See here, those are changed or not? Yeah. So again, double click. Now you change the master ports to DEPT. Like this, you can change, no problem. Okay, you can choose. Wait, wait, don't apply. So here, I have two department number columns, right? One is from EMP, one is from DEPT. Two department number columns are coming. That's why it is taking the column names automatically like DEPT and O1, DEPT and O2. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So now you see, for our clarity, for our easiness, I'm changing it as E underscore DEPT and O, D underscore DEPT and O. The department number belongs to EMP. I am renaming as E underscore DPT. Mm -hmm. okay. The department number from DEPT, I do rename as D underscore DEPT and O, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay, fine. These are the ports. Master ports, detail ports, and uh, if you want to rename, you can rename the ports, this is all. Here, primarily, we have to specify the join condition, right? Mm -hmm. So, there is a tab called join condition, condition tab. Mm -hmm. There is a tab available, that is condition tab, okay? okay. So, create a condition. So under create new condition, under master you select D underscore DPT and O, under child detail you select E underscore DPT. Yes, because the condition is department number is equal to department number. Okay. So, so I have one question sir. So that means that uh, this joiner, joiner in, uh, in Informatica works like the uh, Normal inner join in uh, Oracle, is it? Wait, wait. So now join condition we have taken, right? Now go to properties tab. Here you see the properties. Join condition, whatever condition you have specified, that join condition is coming here, right? Yeah. There is one more property, join type. Oh. There is one more property called joint type. Okay. 
So what type of join? Do you want inner join? You can select inner join. If you want outer join, you can select any one of the three outer joints. Master outer join, detail outer join, full outer join. That is nothing but left outer join, right outer join, full outer join. Okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. This is how you can do. Right? Okay. So let us select normal join and continue. Click on apply and okay. This is how you can use joiner transformation, right? Then, so joiner is joining the employee data and DEPT data and delivering all together, all columns together, right? Now, I want to split the records into three directions. So take the rotor transformation. Of course, you, we already done it using filter transformation. Now we are doing the similar same using rotor transformation. Okay. Yeah, rotor transformation height you can increase. Maximum you increase. Height you put to maximum. Scroll down and okay. pull. Scroll, scroll down and pull more. Okay. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Now this router transformation allows us to specify multiple conditions. So primarily, rotor transformation behavior also somehow similar to filter transformation. Okay. Rotor transformation behavior also somehow similar to filter transformation. But filter transformation allows us Specifying only single condition, okay? Mm -hmm. Filter transformation allows specifying only single condition. Because filter condition, only one condition will be there, right? Router transformation allows specifying multiple conditions. Understand? So, router transformation has groups. We can have groups, multiple groups in the router transformation. Okay, now you select columns, employee number two, location, all columns, but only select one department number. Select all. Select all. And control click. Uh, control click on any one DEPT and uh, now drag and drop all into router. See, input group is automatically created, right? Yeah. In the router, input group is automatically created. And all the ports are located under input group. Those are input ports only, if you observe carefully. So under input group, what all ports are there, those all ports are only input ports. Understand? Yeah. Then, double click on router. You can create output groups. Here there is a tab called groups tab. Okay? Create two groups. One more group. So whenever you created two groups, there is what automatically one group that is default group, right? So here give the give the name group 30 data 30 data group otherwise data 30 group data 30 group second group name is data 20 group third one is default you cannot change it okay third one is default 
for each group you can specify one group condition for each group you can specify a group condition understand mm -hmm. so group condition is nothing but filter condition just simply you take the condition that is dpt and o equal to 30 is equal to 30 this is the group filter condition for the first group similarly for the second group group filter condition is dpt and o equal to 20 okay default does not have any condition okay mm -hmm. what does it mean wait so first of all the router transformation takes inputs right yeah it will check the condition with group one condition if the record is satisfying group one condition it will go out through group one okay Suppose if the record is satisfying group 2 condition, it will go out through group 2, okay? Suppose it's not satisfying any of the above records, it goes to default. Okay. Suppose if it is not satisfying any of the records, then it goes to next, okay? So default, that is what groups, click on apply and okay. Now you observe the rotor transformation carefully, whatever groups you have created, those groups are created and uh, under those groups you have only output ports. That means these are the output groups. So rotor transformation has one input group, multiple output groups. Each output group associated with a group filter condition. Understand? Yeah. Yes. Now you drag and drop your three targets. EMP 30 data beside group 1. EMP 20 data beside group 2. EMP others beside group 3. Connect the ports appropriately, properly. Yeah. From the group 1, connect the ports to target 1. From the group 2, connect the ports to target 2. Connect and move, no problem. I think I can just select all and connect, right? Because... Ah, right click and select all does not work here. You have to select, yes, mm -hmm. like that you can do. Yes, yes. Dename and location also, yes. You can drag and drop, connect. Because uh, order of the columns are same. If the order of the columns are different, you cannot do it like this. Right. You have to drag and drop one by one. Correct. Yeah, just make sure all the columns are visible in the three targets. Arrange them. Some, somehow move it down, move it up, arrange them, no problem. Move it right here, no problem. No issues. Ah, yes. Yes, now increase the height. Ah, good. Yeah. Okay? This is about the router transformation. So all of you understood about what is joiner and what is router? Nitish, Rohit, Sunand. Do you understand about joiner transformation and router transformation? Yes, sir. Yeah. Nitish, Sunand, Rohit, what's about you? Uh, okay. 
Yes, manager. Yeah. Just go to repository and save. Done. Yeah. Now next, what are you supposed to do? Go to workflow manager. You have to create a session, right? Join order. Join order. Now source. Configure the source 1 flat file, configure a source 2 relational connection. Similarly, configure the three targets. It was in STGP, I guess, Scott connection, right? What? Yeah. No, no, you can go with STGDB. Not a problem. Not a problem because both you are keeping in the same source and target you are keeping in the same database, you will confuse. Okay. That's why extra databases we created. Go for STGDB. But, but we don't have anything in STGDB, right? Of we don't have of course, we have not ever done a generate and execute. If we generate and execute, the tables will come into STGDB, right? Sure. No, no, that is sir. Hmm? Source is in a Cart color, sir. A source is cart. Sorry, asking about source, DEPT? Yeah, yes. For DEPT, you have to take cart because DEPT table is in the cart. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm talking about targets. Yeah, target, we have discussed that we'll put it in other databases. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. STGDB and uh, Scott. STGDB. Patti also you keep okay. in STGDB. Okay, both in STGDB. Okay. Yeah. Then others is yeah. actually flat file. Yeah. That I'll put it in. Same destination. Yeah, of course, no problem. Any folder, wherever you want. Yeah. Now you run it and see the data loaded into target. Yeah, other searches with something failed. Why it is not failed? I have no idea. We have to check the session log. Yeah, because okay. target, yeah, check it. But, but target tables we have not generated, right? Yeah, we have not generated the SQL. Oh, target tables are not there in the database. So where it will be load? Correct. So what do you have to do? You have to go for generated Great and SQL. So then you run it. It will run and load properly. Okay. Targets. 
Yeah. Two targets. Select the targets. Two targets. Yeah. Oracle target first. So both at a time you can do. Select both the targets. Yeah. One both the targets. Shall I select both of them? Yeah. Ah, both of them you can select at a time. Yeah. Now go to target, generate and execute, connect. First of all, establish the connection to STGDB. Oracle DSN. Now, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Select it. You have not select, selected tables. Selected tables. I have given serious warning that you don't continue with all tables. You are continuing that. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Hmm. I had uh, selected. So what do I do in that case when I have done it wrong? Like this? Nothing here. Suppose if you, at present no risk because drop table option is not selected. Mm -hmm. In case drop table option is selected, it will drop all the tables. Okay, now, now nothing, no risk. Just go for generate and execute. Click on again. Generate and execute is done. Yeah, fine. Yeah, now you run the data. Just simply go to workflow manager and run it. Observe in workflow monitor. Failed. Why it is failed means wait, wait. I'll tell you. Double click once. No, no. Wait, wait. I will tell you. Go to session. Nothing. Session. Yeah. Go to Sorry. properties. Excuse me. Hello. Workflow manager session. Ah, Tarun. Workflow manager session. Yeah. One moment. Here we'll see, right, if there is any error. Yeah. But I think he knows what's the error. That's why he's saying to go, go there. Yeah, please, there's... It's TGBTB. Good. Yeah. Oracle error. Mm -mm. While inserting. Just once check in this uh, session uh, whether what we have given. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Go to session. Double click on the session. Go to session properties. Mapping, mapping, mapping. Mapping tab. Here select the target one. EMP 30, 20 data. Mm -hmm. Here whenever it is a relational target, STGDB connection you have given, it is well and good. But below under properties, you have target load type bulk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Change it to normal. Okay. Similarly, for EMP 30 data, also change it to normal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Click on apply and okay. Now you wait, wait, you save it, save it, validate, uh, validate, go to repository, save. Now you see the result. Succeeded. Yeah, now see the data in the file as well see the data in the tables. Mm -hmm. See, only 10th department records are came here, but data is joined, right? Mm. Employee data, DEPT data is joined, but only 10th department records are loaded into this because it is others, above conditions not satisfied. Mm -hmm. Similarly, you see data in the tables, database tables. I, I think this is Scott or STGB, I don't remember. 
This is caught. It is, it is caught because there is a DPT in this. Yeah. Sunand Nitesh Rohit, are you clear about it? Any questions? Rohit. Give tab. Rohit. One moment. Okay. I'm just checking the names. Oh, names yeah. of the tables. Okay, okay. Niti Sunand, okay. are you there? I'll give that tab only and check that. Really better. It's easier. <laughs> Bye-bye. Sunand Nitish. With 30 data, right? Yeah. Hmm. Prince Chicago. Yeah. Hello, Sunand. Yeah, we got the results. Yeah. So now you understand about what is join, what is router, right? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, good. Then uh, tomorrow we continue further. Yes. Tomorrow I will teach you about one transformation. Of course, tomorrow session I will make. I will teach you an example. Okay. Mm -hmm. which makes all together means uh, sorter transformation and uh, joiner tra expression transformation and uh, joiner transformation and uh, router transformation all together okay okay i still didn't understand i mean this is for bulk data and this is for normal data right yes so here there are some rules applicable for the bulk load that's why whenever you are uh, working with relational database by default bulk load doesn't work okay there are some rules i will teach you exclusively about normal load and bulk load separately okay. so as of the, and until that time you follow normal load okay cool. okay normal load yeah yeah sure. So tomorrow I will show you one exercise with the same EMP data which includes uh, sorter transformation to sort the data and as well uh, expression transformation for calculations whatever we done yesterday and uh, joiner transformation just like today and router transformation okay. Yep. All together one example we will see tomorrow. Okay sir. Okay all of you. Yes. Rohit, are you clear, right? Yes, yes, thank you. You don't have any questions? I believe you are practicing the examples. No, I am not practicing. I will practice. You have to. You have to. Practice is more important than my teaching. Yes, I will do it. Hmm? Okay, fine. Then uh, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.